Dear viewers and subscribers of Albert Solutions channel, thank you very much for, for following my videos and commenting them. It's a great pleasure to serve you. Uh, lately, I got a question from Shuling Zhang, excuse me from, for my pronunciation, which may be not correct. And he had a question about uh, one of my videos. Uh, the particular video was how to calculate monthly run rate in Microsoft Excel. So, Julin Zhang asked the following question. Hello, I have a question. When calculating our run rate, seems like the sales result would not always be consistent throughout the month. We have a good sales season and bad sales season. If we use a week from good sales season, as the base for our calculation. This would give us two promising results while using the bad week for the year prediction would underestimate our annual sale. Is there a rule to define what week should be used for calculation? Thanks. So, Shulin Zhang, uh, the answer to your question is no, there is absolutely no general rule for calculating a monthly run rate. The formula I gave you is the basic formula and uh, it doesn't always give you a precise prediction because there, there are many, many other factors that affect your sales result. So um, what advice I would give you I would give you the following advice. Um, you can always make the basic formula more complex than the one uh, I provided you. I will show you an example what do I mean by more complex formula, okay? So here we have an Excel sheet and uh, we'll we will calculate a mon month uh, a run rate uh, for uh, basically we'll calculate uh, an estimated January sales uh, based upon uh, numbers we will we will uh, write in the in the cells so uh, in January we have 21 work days and as of 10th of January uh, 2021 we have five working days passed and let's make an assumption that sales to date from 1st to 10th January, sales during these five working days were $10 million. $10 million. So based on those assumptions, uh, the monthly run rate or an estimated sales number for the whole month using the basic formula would be the following. So it would be 10 million divided by five divided by 21. And we will get $42 million as an estimated sales result for the January based on those assumptions that we currently have here. So in the first example, we had an assumption that uh, the rate of sales will remain absolutely stable. It will not grow. I mean, the rate of sales will not grow. It will not grow or drop. So if we continue to sell like we did during the first five working days, then we will reach 42 million uh, dollars in sales by the end of the month. And now let's make different assumption. And different assum assumption will require us to provide more complexity to this formula. So let's create this, uh, let's play through this another example. In this example, we think uh, or we estimate that starting from the sixth working day, 
the rate of sales will drop 30%. So it means that in addition to the 10 million euros we have already sold, we'll have rate uh, that is 30% less than the initial rate, 30% smaller. Uh, how do we put this thought into numbers, into formula? Actually, it's uh, very, very simple. We take the run rate from the previous example, divided by 21, multiplied by 16, because we have 16 working days left. And we multiply it by 0, 0,7. Why 0, 0,7? Because our assumption is that sales rate will drop by 30%. And that's it, let's hit enter button. After we hit enter button, we see that the new run rate that we estimate by the end of January is $32,400,000, which is considerably less, almost $10 million less than the run rate from the first number. I hope you see now that there is no universal rule on how to calculate a monthly run rate. However, the more precise are your assumptions, the more precise will be your estimation. It's as simple as that. Thank you for the great question and uh, stay awesome. Thank you.